Many who live in the small village of Elmwood have questions as to why more than half the Board of Trustees resigned last week. It has put the village in a tough position as they can't pay bills or approve new projects. 3 News Now reporter Nick Starling was in Elmwood today to find out what happened. Nick? Yeah, Jen, according to one former board member, the resignations are over the construction of a park and agreements that were made without board approval. But now the Cass County Village of just over 600 is in a bind without a quorum to vote on village matters. When you get to the point where you're sick to your stomach before you go to a meeting, um, there's something wrong. Jack Hovick is one of the three members who resigned from Elmwood's Board of Trustees. He says projects like the construction of this playground are going forward without board approval. We're not against the project. We're just for getting the project done the right way, which is get the best deal for our money. Hovick says the board chairman made an agreement with a company to do landscaping and didn't tell the board members. How many thousands of dollars do you go and spend without actually having a vote of the board? I mean, that's why we're a board. Last week, Hovick, along with Mike Crass and Brody Bear, resigned, leaving Julie Anderson and Chairman Pat Ray the only ones left on the board. This is the first time I've ever seen three board members resign. For many here in Elmwood, like John Wilhelm, these resignations put more hardship on the village. It's a sad thing, I think, because it's going to do nothing but cost the town money. That could be upwards to $3,500, the cost of a special election. Wilhelm would like to see unity instead of division. I don't think anything's going to be resolved by it, so it's better to work out our conflicts rather than to create more problems. When you vote on things as a, as a board and you vote them down and they still get done, <laughs> then you really aren't serving the community anymore. Now, I did reach out to the other two on the board who did not want to comment. So what happens now? Well, the Secretary of State's office says interested candidates have until November 9th to file for office, and a special election will then take place on December 12th. Reporting live in studio, Nick Starling, 3 News Now.